All right, guys. So another question I get asked a lot is on the DJI Crystal Sky is how do you get off your internal screen recordings? A lot of people get confused by this, so I thought I'd do a simple video real quick explaining how. I'm using Mac to do this. It's pretty much basically the same thing even on Windows. So basically what you want to do is first and foremost have your Crystal Sky on. I've already got the USB cord unhooked. I'm going to plug it into my MacBook Air here. Then on my Crystal Sky here, I'm at the main menu. I'm going to hit the button in between F1 and F2. It's going to bring up the screen right here and you'll see USB connected. Touch to copy files to and from your computer. It's going to pop this screen up, turn on USB storage. Right, go back over here to my MacBook. And I have a nice little icon that's popped up on it now. It says DJI. Double click on it. Now here's where it does get a little bit confusing because there's so many folders, it's kind of hard to find them all. And I've noticed sometimes each update changes this, so you'll just have to play around with it. But for right now, if you'll go to the folder that says DJI, you find two app folders right here. Go version four, which is for Inspire 2 and all the newer stuff. And then you have your DJI Pilot. That's for your older stuff. So I hardly ever use this with the older stuff anymore. So I'm gonna go right here to the four. It's gonna bring you into here. You're gonna look for the next album right here that says DJI Record. There they all are. Don't worry about the ones that say .info. I don't worry about those. So what I do then is I sort them by what kind they are. Scroll down and find them. All my MP4s, which are right there, I make a new folder for Crystal Sky. And I always do a date with mine just so I can remember when I pulled them off last. I know there's about 75 on here, so I'm going to pull those off. Copy them to my folder. I'm using the USB-C just so it'll be a little bit faster. You can also use a normal micro USB cable. I tried it just a minute ago. It works fine. So there's no issues with doing that. It's going to take it a roughly about three minutes to pull off around three gigs of data right there. I'm going to let that copy over. And usually once I get done with that, I will delete them off the card. So I'll be ready for the next time. This is also a great way if you're looking for the files to get the sound from your files when you've done a screen record. You can take the files out of these audios here from the screen record and use them in your videos. But again, i just done this video because a lot of people ask and seem to get confused on getting these off. It's very, it's, you know, it's pretty simple once you see it in action and can get a feel of how it works. But the labels of the folders here are kind of confusing and everything. So, like I said, I just want to do a quick video showing you how to do it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.